Sam Wu is not afraid of ghosts. Chapter 12. Chapter 12. Always blame Butterbutt. I woke up soggy and pickled. I had survived the night, but just barely. I was sure I heard the ghost at least 49 times throughout the night, but my pickle juice repellent must have worked. Sam, you stink! And what is all over your sheets? Did you have a nightmare and wet the bed again? My mum asked at breakfast. Is this about the ghost? I did not wet the bed, I said. Do you think Sam got any sleep that night? How do you know? I just spilled. Butterbutt came up and licked my leg. Then he licked it again. I think he was tasting me. Pickle juice might repel ghosts, but cats seemed to like it. Spilled what? My mum said, wrinkling her nose. None of your business, I said. I picked up a newspaper and pretended to read it. That's what my dad always does when my mum asks him a question he doesn't want to answer. This always works for dad. I didn't even get to the end of the first headline when my mum ripped the newspaper from my hands. Woo gabo! It most certainly is my business, she said. Tell me what you did. I know that guilty face. Uh-oh. She was using my Chinese name. Not only was it her business, but she meant business. Sam's mum calls him by his Chinese name when he's in trouble. Do your parents call you anything different when you're in trouble? Write down the name that your parents call you if you are in trouble. I spilled pickle juice, I said, as if it were the most normal thing in the world to spill all over your bed. My mum sighed and closed her eyes. And why did you have a jar of pickles in your room in the middle of the night? Um, it's my fault, said Lucy. What? My mum and I said at the same time. Lucy nodded and opened her eyes really wide. I'm, I'm sorry, mum, she said. I was trying to open the pickle jar and I couldn't, so I asked Sam to open it for me. I don't even like pickles, my mum said, looking back and forth between us. I didn't know what Lucy's plan was, but I trusted her. We're always on the same team. But Butterbutt loves pickles, she said. Lucy said. She wanted a midnight snack. Sometimes Lucy thinks she can read Butterbutt's mind. So I asked Sam to open the jar. And when he was opening Butterbutt and when he was opening it, Butterbutt jumped on me and the pickle juice spilled everywhere. A classic Lucy move. Blame Butterbutt. Butterbutt is easily blamed. Plus, most things really are Butterbutt's fault. My mum frowned. That's strange, she said. Anyway, whatever happened, Sam stinks. Go hop in the shower right now. And be quick, or you'll be late for school. Sometimes, Lucy can be a pretty good little sister. Find evidence from the text that tells you this part of the story happened in the morning. So what you need to do is you need to find a bit of the story and you need to copy out the exact words that tell you that this part of the story, this chapter 12 bit, happened in the morning. To be continued.